guys, it is Tristan with Nerd Out's Newsstand, and we are going to do our weekly Wokies. Now, I missed last week because I think this should be bi-weekly, because if not, we're kind of looking at a lot smaller of numbers. We'll have to wait and see. Kind of just feeling it out at this point. But if you are new to this, basically what I do is go through each week of what is put out. And because the narrative for so long has been, oh, my God, this is woke. This is woke. Oh, my God. The comic book industry is dying. It's woke. It's woke. And it's all lies. We look at the percentages. We look at the totals of books that are good compared to bad or compared to woke, depending on your perception or. Yeah, everything is good or bad is subjective. So. Let's take a look. We're going to start with August 11th. That was the week I missed. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Like, leave me a comment down below. Uh, smash that bell thing. I've never said that before. Just hit it. Just just nicely hit it. It It's friendly. I promise. So, last week we had Batman 89. The Adventure Continues. Urban Legends. Batman and Rock. That was a free comic book day. But we're going to include everything. A special edition, Detective Comics, Future State, I Am Batman, Infinite Frontier, Last Ride, Pennyworth, Rorschach, Yuck, just saying, Free Comic Book Day for Suicide Squad, Teen Titans, oh, that is a YA novel for Free Comic Book Day, Scooby-Doo, Joker, Wonder Woman, and Hardware. Yeah, we're gonna go with not a single one of these was woke. Not a single one. Now... I want to be fair in this situation. So there are people that think I am Batman is a mantle takeover written by just a, just an awful writer. Absolutely awful. Um, so we'll include that one. I, 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 even if it's not woke, it's bad. And then, you no, know, was that the urban legend that Tim Drake came out in? I believe so. So, you know, we'll just be nice. Not a single one of them are, in my opinion, woke. But we're going to go above and beyond. Just, you know, <laughs> constantly trying to prove my point here. So we, we'll, we'll go go we'll, we'll with two. Two works. So let's look at Marvel. We had America Chavez, Avengers, Captain Marvel. Oh, Children of the Atom is absolutely woke. Yep, yep, yep. No doubt about it. Daredevil, Defenders. Great book. Um, Life Story. Spider-Man 29, Runaways, and da 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 um, I, I'm not just not naming them because I because we have two weeks and I wanna don't want to bore you too much. So yeah, I would definitely say with Children of the Atom being a trans allegory, yeah, that one's definitely woke. Bitter root, ordinary gods, a man among ye, Stephanie Phillips writes that book. Check out my interview yesterday with her. It was so fun. One of my favorite interviews so far. Side sidekicks of uh, Trigger Keaton and the Silver Coin, all great. Uh, Silver Coin's great. Um, Ordinary Gods is really good too, but none of these are woke, so we're gonna say zero for Image. I not a single uh, book in this list is has any any sort of um, leanings politically. So let's take a look at the Indies. We got twenty AD. No Harlock. Um, I, I haven't read Harlock, but even so, Bunny Mask, um, Campisi, uh, Bellari, and then Seven Swords, Black Myth, uh, <laughs> Comedy is Dying. I actually got that. I want to see what it is. It, it's written by a stand-up comedian talking about, well, kind of what we talk about a lot of time. Uh, King Tank, <laughs> Girl, uh, Archie, Fight Girls. Definitely not woke, but not, I, I was really disappointed in that. It wasn't good. Um, white. Oh boy. Everybody's favorite Kwanzaa that we're going to include. Eve Memo, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Holy crap. Not a single. Th okay. So white. Um, the un unbelievable unteens that is from the Black Hammer universe. Also very good. Jeff Lemire. Oh, amazing. Um, so kiss. I read that. <laughs> I love when, when musicians go into comics, I should do a video one time like a retrospective of the alice cooper one so good so silly and fun and great and amazing i love it so monolith i'm gonna have a big video about that also so for indies we've got one right we've got white okay well 
We've got one. Now let's go through and let's take a look at the second week. I know this is probably boring to some people, but I find it very interesting to take a look at everything and put it into perspective. Now, another thing I want to show you guys and tell you guys again, I said it in my last video. I'm using this site because of the organization. I'm using this site not because it is a pirating site. I'm using it because it's a problem in itself that I have to use a pirating site to find out every single title that came out. Anyways, so Cat Batman, Catwoman, not woke, not good. Let's put our list back up here because we're going to start on the second week. So um, Secret Files, Clown Hunter, really good. Uh, Catwoman, probably the best DC book this week, honestly. Nightwing 83, Scooby-Doo, Shazam, Supergirl, Superman and the Authority. You know what? Just to be nice, <laughs> we're going to include that one. Oh, my God. It was it's fun because I know it's Grant Morrison and I don't take anything Grant Morrison re makes anymore with uh, any sort of seriousness. Right. So I knew when he wrote this, it was going to be over the top. But we have this girl saying her superpower is ADHD and she literally is like fighting real trolls about body shape. Oh, man, it's something else. But it cracked me up. Like, it wasn't great or anything, but it made me laugh at least. But it definitely would be one I'd say wait for the trade for. So one. We've got one. Um, and actually, to be nice here, just because I know some people would consider it woke, Superman Red and Blue has, like, a coming out story. So we'll include that one. It's called Ally. I actually just read it after my stream on Thinking Critical to see what it was about. And it was just a cutesy little coming out story. And I, it, that was it. So anyways, Marvel, let's see what we have here. Black Cat. And that's one of those titles I really try to like because I love Catwoman. It's very similar. And I just, it's hard to. Um, Gamma Flight, Guardians, Iron Man King, The Conqueror, Miles, Morales, Marauders. Um, I actually only read a couple books this week, so I had to reach out and ask a few people on this side of it. Sinister War was really good, and this issue was bad. This, it, it just wasn't. Trial of Magneto, I read that. It was okay. Um, uh, is there anything? Okay, so I didn't find anything out about the Marauders, and we'll just say it is. <laughs> Even though I feel like most of these were going, we'll just say it is. We'll just say it is. So then we have Homesick Pilots, Man Eaters. That's, oh, boy, Chelsea Kane. Um. I don't know why anyone would put themselves through that pain, but maybe people like it. Maybe Noctura, absolutely recommend. Ascender's Compass, Home, that's the second one. Um, Jupiter's Legacy, another one. So good. The R, oh, to die for. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Risen, Black, uh, Radiant Black. I jumped off on that. I mean, second Chances, uh, Walking Dead, In Time Before Time. So we're going to say for Image, the second week, we have two. We have two. We have Home and uh, Man Eaters. Oh, boy. Let's take a look at the indies. Oh, we've got Judge Dredd. We've got The Chimerian, another really, really great recommendation if you're into that. God of Tremors, another one. Beyond the Breach, both really good. So I'm telling you, you can find really good books, but you have to look at the sometimes. Sometimes you just got to look at the indies. Very, very unique ideas. Um, Alice in Leatherland. Eat the Rich, another good one. Save Yourself is 100% woke. Oh, it's so bad. I tried reading one. Um, mm, 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 mm. Killer Queen, so we've got two. Um, I haven't read it yet, so like I can't say for sure. But it's about two gay superheroes saving stuff in a gay way. I, I, I might love it. I might love it. I might. You never know. But yeah, we're going to say two. Uh, Sacred Six, Dynamite Lives. It, we, we, do we even have any? Okay, so these are European comics. I did not include these in the total because I was not able to even either A, get a hold of them or have somebody that read them. So I didn't include those in the total, so we're not going to include them in the woke. Uh, Bermuda, beautiful art, beautiful art. Um, and that's that's it. Exo, Man of War. I wish I could jump on that again. I do, and Ninjak, but nope. So we've got two for week two, right? We have two. So we, 
Am I making a point yet? This is the second time we've done this, the third week. We've got four from DC Total, two from Marvel, two from Image, and three on the Indies. That is insane. That it is that low. And people freak out so much. Um, And I don't understand it. So we've got 11. And uh, 100. Let's get the percentage here. So basically, what, 7%, 7 to 8%, again, just as low as last week. Last week, we figured about 5 or 6, and it was, um, oh, I I guess we were being a little bit nicer. Let's look. I've got the totals here. So last week, we had 6. So it's about 6 a week, if you look. Yeah, about 6 a week, 5 to 6 a week. And if there's a market for 5 to 6 a week, I I see no issue with this. So again, a lot of screaming that the comic book industry is woke with absolutely no proof. The proof is in the pudding, honey. And the pudding's on the screen. Okay, that was really, really dumb. I don't know why I said that. Forgive me for the terrible puns that I can't even make sound bad. It's not a big, it's it's nothing. There's nothing here to scream woke about. Seven to eight to nine percent. Six titles a week out of maybe 70. Yeah, I don't see the issue. But let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.